Okay, part two of He's Just Not That Into You. Introduction by Greg. So I'm sitting in the writer's room at Six in the City, pondering my good fortune to be the only straight male on the predominantly female writing staff. Actually, I'm just eating a cookie. When the writers begin talking about guys they're seeing, this is a common occurrence as it is part of the writing process for a show that explores romantic relationships. It is endlessly fascinating. I know that sounds sarcastic, but I'm being for real. So on this particular day, one of the ladies pipes up with, Greg, you're a guy. She is very observant, this one, for I am indeed a guy. Then she says, so I've been seeing this guy. Well, I think I have. I know the answer. See, we went to a movie and it was great. I mean, he didn't hold my hand, but that's cool. I don't like to hold hands. Still know the answer. But afterwards, he kissed me in the parking lot. So I asked if he wanted to come over. But he had a really important meeting in the morning, so he didn't come over. Come on, are you kidding me? Know it. So I asked, have you heard from him? Well, that's the thing. That was like a week ago. Now you should know the answer. And then today he emails me and is like, why haven't I heard from you? I stared at her for a moment while the answer was bursting out of my all eyeballs. Oh, ladies, you make me so mad sometimes. Here is this beautiful, talented, super smart girl who's a writer in an award-winning TV show, a show known for its decisive observation about men, who you, you would think could have her pick of just about any dude around. The superstar of a woman is confused about a situation that to me is so clear. Actually, confused is the wrong word because she's too smart for that. She's hopeful, not confused. But the situation is hopeless. So I broke the news to her. He's just not that into you. And let me tell you, that's the good news. Because wasting time with the wrong person is just time wasted. And when you do move on and find your right person, believe me, you're not going to wish you had gotten to spend more time with Stinky the Time Waster or Freddy Can't Remember to Call. Look, I'm not a doctor. Neither real nor imagined. But I'm an expert. And that should be listened to because of one very important thing. I'm a guy. A guy that has his fair share of relationships and is willing to come clean about his behaviour in them. Because I'm a guy, I know how a guy thinks, feels, and acts, and it's my responsibility to tell you who you really are. I'm tired of seeing who we really are. I'm tired of seeing great women and bullshit relationships. When a guy is into you, he lets you know it. He calls you. He shows up. He wants to meet your friends. He can't keep his eyes or hands off you. And when it's time to have sex, he's more than overjoyed to oblige. I don't care if he's starting his new job as the President of the United States the next morning at four. That's 4am, ladies. He's coming up. Men are not complicated, although we'd like you to think we are. As in, things are really crazy right now. I've just got a ton of shit going on. We are driven by sex, although we'd like to pretend otherwise. What? No. I was totally listening. And sadly and most embarrassingly, we would rather lose an arm out on a city bus window than tell you simply you're not the one. We are quite sure you will kill us. Or yourself, or both, or even worse, cry and yell at us. We are pathetic. But the fact remains, even though we may not be saying it, we are absolutely showing you all the time. If a dude isn't calling you when he says he will, or making sure you know that he's dating you, then you already have your answer. Stop making excuses for him. His actions are screaming the truth. He's just not that into you. Move on, sister. Cut your losses and don't waste your time. Why stay in some weird dating limbo when you can move on to what will surely, surely be better territory? Don't want to hear it? Fine. Here's the answer you're looking for. Hang in there, baby. He's not the loser everybody's telling you he is. If you wait and keep your mouth shut and call at exactly the right time and anticipate his moods and have no expectations about communication or your own sexual needs, you can have him. But please don't be surprised when he dumps you or continues to drag you through a completely unsatisfying relationship. We've heard it and you're sick of it. That's probably why you're in possession of this book now. You know you deserve to have a great relationship. We agree. So grab a highlighter and get started. Liz told you I was going to say it. Don't waste the pretty. That's it for today. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded.